I want to just for a moment go back to a word you used earlier, which is a word I've heard you use before and uh, something that's cropped up on your website and your articles uh, before, which is outperform. Um, and it's something or our performance that you've right. that you've used and 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 um, a talking point I think also amongst your clients as well. Um, talk to me about what outperform means and what is the difference between sort of performing <laughs> and outperforming and 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 where that kind of threshold is between the two, and perhaps even how clear thinking can help right. you you know navigate the difference between the two. All right, so let me let me lay out my own perspective here. Um, and that perspective is informed by research. My perspective is that if you are running a business and you're happy with just growing that business, you will be out of business um, very, very quickly. Because the world is changing and the competitive environment is dynamic. And they are we we are operating in a global economy where unfortunately we are not operating on a capitalist system and a capitalist system rewards the biggest players <laughs> in a category uh, exponentially. So if you are the market leader in a category, you not only have more customers who buy from you more often, but the reality is, is that a large percentage of your customer base will churn. You know, they'll go and buy something else. You know, if you Coke, people buy Pepsi and they buy water and they buy iced tea and uh, maybe they buy alcohol, you know, instead of Coke. You, you've got to, you know, if you're the biggest player, you're affected less by that churn, by that um, sort of lack of loyalty in, in your group. So if you are a, if you're a middle of the road business in, in a category in, in the marketplace, or you're a small business, you're screwed. The statistics will tell you you are screwed. You just you can't. You just can't. It's it's very difficult for you to make progress within this system unless you are absolutely dedicated to competing successfully with the larger incumbents in your category. So how do you do that? If you're smaller, you don't have access to the money or the resources or the or the finance. Um, so you've got to think strategically. You've got to be shrewd. You've got to find opportunity where your strengths play up against the weakness of the bigger players. So, you know, my perspective is that if you are running a business, you really have to have an energy and a hunger to compete. Uh, and as an example, later this week, I'm doing a workshop with, uh, with a company here in, in South Africa who are very, very successful. Um, and they have been successful for 25 years. In five years, they want to exit the business. They want to make sure that what they sell the business for is the most. Uh, the valuation needs to be uh, maximized. So how do they do that in five years? What might the strategy be in order to do that? So when I started the process of having a discussion with them, it became very clear that they are, you know, for want of a better word, they're happy to just kind of go along the normal growth trajectory. There isn't sort of a hunger to win. There's no hunger to compete. Um, and when I challenged the CEO about uh, their lack of competitive edge, she kind of said, well, you know, it's just not us. You know, we're not competitors. We're happy just to kind of follow the steps that have been successful for us. But the reality is, is that in a country like South Africa, unless you are a business which is growing exponentially, who are outperforming, you're not going to pay more tax that goes to the social good, hopefully. You're not going to be employing more people. And we desperately need more employment for more people in South Africa. So the reality is, is that if you are running a business and your intention is not to be the biggest, most powerful, most successful brand in your category, then what are you doing? You're, you're just coasting. And coasting is just not sustainable. It's you can't do that. Um, you can't have impact, and you're always going to be on the back foot. So, <laughs> when I talk about art performance, uh, another way of looking at it is that you've got to think big. You've got to be bold. You've got to be confident. You've got to have extreme competence within your category to out deliver value for customers, 
for mm. your shares, for your staff, for your business. And that is a conscious decision. Um, and that's where strategy comes in. That I think when you have that consciousness of, wow, I'm really keen and I'm energetic and I want to be the best that I can be. I, you know, I love excellence. I, you know, I want to build a brand that people go like, oh my goodness, that's one of the best brands in the world. Mm. When you've got that, now you can start talking strategy. Now you can, now you can say, right, what's going to be our approach? What's going to be our play to capture more of this market and actually sell things that are of value to society? Um, and replace the players that are not producing the value and actually should be should be kicked out.